hello and welcome to a new video in this video i'm going to show you how to access or mount a windows uh, usb uh, and tfs partition in, in centos uh, 7. so as you can see here i have a centos 7 machine uh, running under a uh, virtual box so if, you, if I go to devices USB and then connect my uh, USB uh, drive and then I go to uh, my file explorer and as you can see I have my USB uh, and TFS partition here if I click on it I get this error unable to access USB and the, the error uh, is file system type and TFS not configured in kernel so what we are going to do in this video is see how we can uh, configure and TFS in our kernel and allow the system to read this NTFS partition the first thing we are going to do before installing anything is uh, enabling enabling the EPL reposit repository and EPL stands for extra packages for enterprise Linux which is a, repo a repository that contains uh, Linux uh, packages so in order to install the uh, EPL repository we can run the following command so I'm going to open a terminal here and run the following command yum install EPL release and then hit enter uh, I have to add here sudo because I have to be either root or run the command as a sudo word so I'm going to run it as a sudo word hit enter it's going to ask me for my password I type the password and I hit enter again and the installation starts it's asking me to confirm the installation so I'm going to say yes and the package download starts it, it installs it gets verified and it's done so the first step is complete the next thing we need to do is install ntfs 3g so what is ntfs 3g it's an open source uh, platform uh, sorry it's an open source package used in Linux to provide safe handling of Windows and TFS file systems once the EPL repository is installed we can install NTFS 3G via the following command so let me first clear my screen type yum uh, dash y install NTFS dash 3G so that's the package name NTFS 3G and the minus Y option is just to uh, accept any uh, prompt uh, questions during the uh, installation process so hit enter and allow the installation to be performed and of course I have to do this as a root or as a sudoer so I'm going to add sudo, type my password, hit enter, and the installation should start shortly. Once the NTFS 3G uh, package is installed, we install another package called fuse using another command. So sudo install 
uh, sorry, sudo yum install fuse. Before installing fuse, let me check and see if my uh, USB uh, drive has been mounted or not yet. So if I click on it, I can mount it and I can see its contents. So just the fact that I have installed uh, the NTFS 3G uh, package is allowing me to see the contents of my uh, USB drive, which is uh, of type NTFS. So I can still install this Fuse uh, package, which is going to allow me to detect any uh, devices on my machine. So I'm going to install it. Once uh, the fuse package is installed, I can run this command mod. If you want to see the devices that you have on your machine, you can run this command sudo fdisk l. And here you can see the devices you have on your machine. Another way to see your devices is by running ls block and here it's maybe better visibility not very much detailed but it's more readable so the partition the NTFS partition that I was trying to uh, see is this one sdb1 this one was visible on my USB uh, drive but this one was not so now I am able to see it just after installing uh, NTFS 3G package and it has been mounted automatically to this location forward slash run forward slash media forward slash mirahi and forward slash USB and this mirahi is my uh, username it's the username that I have logged in with to this uh, session if your NTFS partition has not been mounted automatically you can run the following command to do that so the command is first of all you have to make a, a directory where you are going to mount your partition or your device so you can make a directory under MNT and you can call it for example NTFS or uh, let's say USB and I have to be a uh, root of course or a super user once you have created that folder you can run this command to uh, to mount uh, your USB device or, you, uh, or your NTFS partition to this uh, location so the command is mount so it's sorry it's mount I have to get focus to this window to be able to type so it's mount dash t and then ntfs 3g and then the name of the partition or the device that you want to mount which is for us it's sdb1 and then the location where you want to mount it which is the directory that you have just created which is uh, forward slash mnt forward slash uh, usb and then hit enter let me add 
uh, sudo here in the beginning and you will have your uh, NTFS partition mounted here it's telling me that mount is denied because the NTFS volume is already exclusively opened and the volume may be already mounted and it is already mounted so I'm just showing you the command in case you don't have your uh, partition already mounted but for me it's already mounted it has been done automatically since the installation of the NTFS 3G package so that's how you can mount it uh, manually via command line so the last thing I'm going to show you in this video is how to unmount a, a device or a partition that you have mounted so it's easy you just do unmount and then uh, the location where you have mounted your device let's say mnt slash usb so if this is where you have uh, mounted it you can just do unmount and then you put the location and that's it and it's going to be uh, unmounted so in this video i have showed you how to access or mount a Windows NTFS partition in Linux. I hope this has been helpful for you and thank you for watching.